right what we learned in last class hmm? level based hierarchies we learned it we created one more hierarchy customer hierarchy we created and we created product hierarchy we created and we learned what you mean by drill down we learned how to set up the drill across we learned how to set up two or more columns as a target drill columns we learned meaning if i click on the month then automatically getting what day name as well as day number both we are getting it if you click on the sales representative customer name as well as customer key or customer number both we are getting it okay so two or more columns how to mark as a display purpose we land it then we went for number of elements we land about it so the main advantage of the number of elements is what number of elements elements advantage advantage is what what is the advantage of number of elements huh? to pick proper aggregate table to prop to pick proper aggregate table this point more uh, information we come to understand the moment i teach aggregate tables right now we we completed i think up to number of elements only we completed yesterday with that we close the hierarchy chapter still in that hierarchy two hierarchies are pending one is parent child hierarchy second is unparalleled hierarchy are pending those things will be covered down the line time being we are going to move with the level based hierarchy only we are stopping that chapter and those two things will be covered on the some other day now today we'll try to understand the next thing that's called as level based measures what is that level based measures it is a very important class it is a very important class we'll try to understand that one nested aggregate functions are not supported by rpd hence we need to learn lvm that is nothing but level based measure what is the meaning of this one what is the meaning of this one for example let us say i am going to the front end i am going to the front end let me go to the analytics portal this is the analytics portal now try to sign in now go to the new analysis supplier sales representative then we have to take here let us say i am taking one column called as reason column reason column then i am trying to take here one column called as dollars column let me save this one we are learning what we are learning level based measures one first example right so i am giving here one then i am trying to keep in the share folder and we created our folder what is the folder we created b160 folder we created there i am trying to save this one now click on the result we are able to see the result reason and dollars now let me go and try to export this one into the ms excel can i export it here we have option what is this option export this analysis so there is option called as export into excel 2007 powerpoint web archive pdf format next what csv file i want it tab delimited file i want it xml format i want it these are the different options what we have in the exporting most of the cases we try to use pdf and excel these are the two mainly used things but these are so some of the options what we have it now let me export into the excel format so it is exporting in the excel 2007 in the bottom it is exported now we can go and we can open this one i am trying to open it now it's opening the excel and we got the data okay now you can see here two columns region and dollars we have it if i want to calculate let us say total business or i can say total dollars what is my total dollars or total business sum of 
then what is this enter we can observe here we are able to see we are able to see what is the total business 6303793 this are the total business 6303793 this are the total business if i want to know what is the share of this uh, particular region in the central region how much of percentage i, I did the total business how i can calculate it let us say i want here the share value i can write here the name as region wise then market share reason why is market share i did in the name then what is the formula for me is equal to whatever value we have in that region by whatever we have the value total into what is this 100 that region money by total money into 100 then enter we got here 20.49 we got it Similarly, I am trying to do for this, this value by total money into 100 and similarly is equal to this value by total money into 100 and we got this one. Okay, even we can drag it, drag here also if you, by putting here, what is this? B dollar, we have to put it. What is the dollar meaning here? B10 is constant. B10 is constant. Generally, we used to drag it right like this. Instead of typing the formula, you can drag like that. But we have to keep the dollar and you have to drop it. If the dollar is not available, then what is happening here? Just observe here what is happening. Error. Why? Because it is trying to take denominator. What it is taking? B11. B11 is what here? Nothing. So if you want to fix the bottom one, if you want to fix the bottom cell, then what you have to keep it? Dollar. So if I keep here bottom always what you are trying to take it B10 only we are taking bottom. That's what I want to tell it. Denominator is same for all these three rows. Denominator is same for all these three rows. What is your denominator here? Total business, total money, total money. Now same thing I want to do in OBI using OBA functions and all, OBA calculations. This is Excel, right? Same thing I want to do in OBA. For that, let me go to the OBA. Let us do the first front end, then we'll do the back end. I am going to the criteria. Let me add one more dollars column, I am adding it. One more dollars column, I am adding it. I added one more dollars. I want to change all the internal formula name everything of this dollars column let us so here we have the settings in the settings what we have it in the settings what you have madam edit formula if you click on the edit formula then it is asking what column heading i am trying to change the column heading as what i want region wise market market uh, share this i am doing in the report level right that is the reason for our identification purpose i am saying in the brackets report i am giving it that means what i am doing this calculation at the report level not on the rp level now click on here dollars that's by what i want sum of sum of this total dollars whatever we have it we are trying to click on it then into 100 into 100 now i want to click on here ok there is a ok option click on the ok now click on here results now we can observe 20 40 40 we got it properly we got or not in the excel also you got the 20 40 40 only you got it it's not rounded if i want to do the rounding let us say apply the formatting you can apply the formatting what you got 20 40 40 Okay, for this column, whatever we have the formatting, header also I am applying it. Now, we are clear about it. In the report level, directly I can calculate it. Can I calculate same thing in the RPD? Because reason-wise market share seems to be reusable, right? I may require in many reports. I may require in 
many reports. Why can't you can do in the RPD? Instead of developing in each and every report, we can do directly in the RPD, right? So let us do in RPD. I am going for administration tool. Administration tool is opened. Then opening RPD in online mode. Then admin. One, two, three. Then expand the core. Expand the fact sales. Right click on the fact sales, new object, then logical column, what is the name, region, wise, market, share, in the brackets for our identification purposes we are doing where, in RPD, so I am giving RPD, column source, derive from existing columns, edit expression, then whatever we have here, dollars, buy, uh, what is that? Sum of dollars into 100. Then click on here, OK. Click on here, OK. This column, let it be, uh, let it be drag and drop into here. I am trying to drag and drop. Check in changes. Click on S. Yes. Is it saying is consistent or not consistent? We will see what is the reason. I am clicking on the yes, error, error with what what column, reason wise, market share, column, whatever we calculated just now, that is a that is a problematic guy. What is the problem? Error in measure definition for the column reason wise, nested aggregate measure definitions are currently not supported. Can you tell me what do you mean by nested aggregate measures? What do you mean by nested aggregate measures? If I return, let us say sum of sum of sum of sum of let us say ACTL EXT and D ACL, ACTL EXT and D is what it is a one column on top of that column how many sums we have it so that is called as nested aggregate or sum of average average of min min of max something like that so any two aggregate functions are coming side by side it's called as nested aggregate function in our calculation where we got it you know already one point what is the actual column name actually what is the actual column name if you go and try to observe our actual column name is available the column name is what ACTL EXT and D that only we renamed as what dollars and in the dollars level we applied one aggregation rule what is the aggregation rule applied sum then we set this as it is a major column a number column associated with aggregation rule then it is called as what measure that is simple definition right number plus aggregation rule is equal to measure that's what our definition hence we see here we got here dollars is nothing but what sum of actl ext and d dollars means sum of actl ext and d on top of dollars, what you said? Again, sum. So, sum of sum, it got or not? If you want, you can verify it. Double click on this column, whatever we calculated. Now, what we got here? Sum of, sum of ACTL, EXT, and D. This is a problem with the numerator or denominator. This problem is with numerator or denominator? Denominator. So somehow, if I give in the total dollars to your hand, can you calculate the reason wise market share or not? If I give in, I use some of my own calculations, I will use it. I am giving reason wise market share column, uh, sorry, uh, total dollars column to your hand. Can you calculate this column or not now? Yes. Okay, that is the reason we are, we are learning this chapter. The chapter is called as level based measures nested aggregate functions are not supported by rpd hence we need to learn what level based measure. nested aggregate functions is nothing but sum of sum of actl ext and d or sum of sum of any measure column next next point okay we understand that one how to create now this total business column let us go and try to click on okay let me delete this one I deleted 
Now my RPD will be right RPD because I deleted that column whatever available I deleted. Now my RPD will be free from errors. Yes or no? Consistent. There are no errors are available. All are warnings only. If I remove these warnings, there are no errors are available. Okay. Perfect. Next one. Now my goal is to calculate here total dollars. Total dollars with respect to what receipts? I given day wise money I given to your hand or uh, customer wise money I given to your hand or product wise money I given to your hand. By seeing this report what type of money I given to your hand? Reason is part of which, uh, which uh, uh, hierarchy? Customer hierarchy. That means, that means you want your grand total with respect to what? Customers wise. Customers wise you want the grand total. I given the data to your hand. Customer 1 how much paid, customer 2 how much paid, customer 3 how much paid, that, that kind of data I given to you. Are you getting my point? So how to calculate this total dollars now? Very simple, very simple. Right. So, uh, I'm using something not refreshing now. We, I didn't change it, sir. Now is it refreshing? It was showing me, do you wish to check global consistency? Still, that, that page you are seeing it? Yeah, only that page. Is it so? Yeah, okay. Other folks, what are seeing it? The Excel sheet. Hey, Excel sheet you are seeing, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I see the Excel spreadsheet too. That's right. That's right. That's what you should be supposed to be. Now we MS Word. Yeah, something problem with your side only, Manish. Uh, your, 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 okay. Your, 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 your. okay. Okay. That much. Right. Come to the point here. What I want. I want to calculate now total dollars. I want to calculate with respect to the customer. With respect to the customer. Because my report is talking about the reason. Reason is part of the customer hierarchy. So for that, what all I am doing is, whatever we have here, dollars. This dollars column, I am duplicating it. Then I am saying as, it is a grand total. I am saying this as grand total. Now this grand total, I am trying to drag and drop into here. Now check in changes, click on S. Now close it. Now go to the front end. Let us see that grand total column. Is it available or not? For that, what you have to do? Reload server metadata. Then expand it. Then derived columns. Then grand total. I am trying to drag and drop it. Tell me, is it going to display the grand total or is it normal dollars only? Just I renamed it. That's it, right? But internally, the formula, logic, everything is what? Same. Because it is a duplicated column. That is the reason it is going to show it is behave similar to what? Dollars. Dollars, whatever it is behaving. Similarly, this grand total also behaving. But I don't want this to behave in that pattern. I want this to behave like a grand total only. Then what exactly we need to do? Right. No one asked me yesterday, we have been created, we have been created, let us say here, expand here. What is this level? Now, what is this level we created? What is the level we created? In each and every level, first level, always I create what level? Did I map any column to the grand total level? But no one asked me, sir, you created level. No, you didn't map to the columns to that one. Remaining all levels I mapped to the columns, right? But this only I didn't map it. The reason is today I am going to use that. Now I want to calculate this particular measure column at what level? Grand total. Grand total level with respect to with respect to what hierarchy my report is demanding? Customer hierarchy. So I need to map this column now, whatever we have this grand total. Select it, then drag and drop this one onto, onto, onto which level? Customer hierarchy, grand total. 
the moment i drop it that's it my job is done now we now we can say definition is like this definition is like this you tell me now whatever we have here column whatever we have here column this column whatever we have it this column is called as what column actually it is a measure column yes or no and the same measure column is mapped with what level a measure column mapped with one level then it is called as what level based measure now we got the definition what is level based measure any one measure column mapped with one or more levels in my case it is one level only there is a possibility in one, one or two instances more levels also can map it one or more levels then it is called as what level based measures okay now you understand this one just i mapped it apart, apart from that one nothing i did yes or no only i did the mapping after i did the mapping let me go to the report side just i am trying to reload server metadata then i am trying to refresh it is it grand total is displaying grand total value or not if you want you can compare with your ms excel what is the grand total value 6303673 it's matching so you calculated now grand total what is stopping you you have in your hand what is this dollars what is this grand total these two things you can divide and you can multiply with 100 and you can get the result right okay for this let us say i am going here then i am trying to i am trying to calculate that one right click new object logical column what is the name region wise market share this one we are doing in the rpd so i given the name as rpd column source derived from existing columns then whatever we have here dollars that by what is this level based measure here grand total into 100 then okay then okay now this column also i am trying to drag and drop here check in changes click on s or no now close it let me go to the front end browser reload server metadata then you can expand this fact sales expand the derived columns reason why is market share we have it that i am trying to drag and drop here then we can see here whatever you calculated report level whatever you calculate from rpd whatever you calculate in the ms excel all are same page or not all are same all are same of course now we did excellent job we did it whatever is thrown the error that error workaround we found it the workaround is what level based measure what is the error we found nested aggregate functions are not supported in the rpd that is the error message for that what is the workaround we found we have to map a measure column to the one level so that it behaves like a level based measure sorry how the okay good question question is how the value got changed if we, we added this column to level immediately the value got changed right how it changed it value is not changed actually the sql query changed the sql query changed what the sql query is going to create is simply write select sum of dollars from so and so table that's it because i get mapped to what grand total level see the sql query backend for this entire report let us say backend i am trying to see the sql query save administration then manage sessions then go and try to observe here view log in the view log we can observe now it's trying to get here first we are trying to get only how many columns it is reason column and dollars column, column only it is trying to get it yes or no 
then it's trying to get here what it is into 100 it is doing it select this distinct c2 c3 c5 c1 and c1 if it is uh, null then we are multiplying with what 100 as what c6 observe this query once Observe this query. Here, what is the C1? Blindly, it is calculating what? Select sum from one table, from so and so table means what we are going to get it? Total sum only are going to get it or not? That means what? Grand total. You are getting my point or not? If I go to the SQL and if you say simply, Select some ACTL EXTND from T1 underscore orders to orders or orders to orders to. Then, if I try to execute this one, system is refreshing. One moment. Right. Now you can see here what you got it. Grand total you got or not. System will create like that query. The moment you map on measure column to that particular level, the query style, the query how it is going to prepare it, it will be changes. That you need not bother about it. That is a back end process. Your job is what level you want the total. What level you want the total. That level you have to map it. I want the total at what level? Grand total level. So I mapped with what? Grand total. You received my point? Excellent. Now you are clear about that one. That's what, what I am trying to tell in the notes. If you see the notes once, first what we did here? We created here, we created here level based measures. We duplicated this one, right? We duplicated this one. Now, next, understanding or testing the level based measure. We understand now grand total how it is displaying. Third, we are using what? Using level based measure in share calculations. We use the share calculations to update the report. So, these are the four steps what we did. It. Any questions on these four steps? If no, I will ask one question. Any questions? Right. Now, question is calculating year wise share. Now, we calculate what reason wise market share, right? Now, I want what year wise market share I want it. So, let us go and try to develop that report first. We have here columns, two columns I am taking new analysis, supplier sales representative. I am taking one column called as year column. Then I am trying to take here one column called as dollars column. This is the example of second example. So let me give it as a LBM to I am giving. Now I clicked on the result. We got the result. Now you tell me now here I have one column. You know already that column is called as grand total column. If I drag and drop this grand total here, is it going to behave like a really grand total or normal dollars? I'm, if I drop here, it is going to display the grand total value or it is a normal dollars is going to display. Question is not clear. Question is clear, right? Answer is not clear. Okay. Yes, what, what it will display? Uh -huh. It displays grand total. How, how why is that C? You, I given customer 1 how much paid, customer 2 how much paid, customer 3 how much paid, that's what you are calculating grand total. 
here we can take in the time right how system knows with respect to time hierarchy grand total is what unknown column in the time hierarchy is it grand total is mapped to anywhere with respect to time hierarchy grand total is what unknown column as is unknown column it behaves as a normal column only with respect to customer hierarchy map to the grand total so system understand okay if we map to me with the grand total level so i have to calculate grand total level it's calculated but with respect to time hierarchy it is a unknown column you didn't map to any level that's why displaying what not behaving like a normal dollars suppose now you want this to be part of grand total really then what you have to do map with time hierarchy which level you have to map grand total level you have to map it excellent so let me do that one i am going here then grand total whatever we have it you have to drag and drop dragging and dropping making some trouble to you then one more option is double click on grand total here also what is option available levels with respect to time hierarchy what level you have to map it grand total level so we are selecting the grand total level this is the major column with respect to time hierarchy we are mapping with what grand total level let me click on here okay then check in changes now click on yes now close let me go and try to see the reporting side now reload server metadata refresh the report now you can see it is behaving like a grand total or not it is behaving like a grand total now this by this do i need to calculate it or already i have the calculation already we have it right already we have it actually previously i given the name of this one as reason wise market share let me change now name as generic name as what generic generic i am trying to rename it what is this market share i am renaming it okay now let me go and try to save it if i change your name automatically it changes in the presentation there or not automatically it changes in the reports also or not yes if you change something in the bmm layer automatically change where in presentation layer and also changes where in the reports also it will changes any hard coded values in case when this column is equal to something written uh, calculation like that there it won't change it even though it won't change over there it will work fine because of because of what aliases if directly you drag the column means it will changes if you written some case somewhere hard coded values case when statement you written there what will happens it won't change but still it will work because of aliases so if you rename it any point of time we need not worry about it system will automatically changes respect to all the things right now i am trying to go for let me close this then check in changes click on sr now then let me go to the front end i am trying to do a reload server metadata then once you reload it let me expand this fact sales derived columns then market share i am trying to drag and drop we got here market share we got it 76 and 24 76 percentage of the business we did in 1998 year in the 1999 year 24 uh, percentage of the business we did actually 1999 year as four months of data only my sample data okay right okay this is what the second example third example what is third example calculate item type wise share what is the meaning for example i am going for new now analysis i hope this you have to answer very well now i am trying to take here column called as item type then i am trying to take a column called as dollars then i am trying to take here then i am trying to take here grand total 
Now tell me, grand total will behave like a really grand total or it is a normal dollars? Grand total will behave as a normal grand, uh, normal dollars or what is that? Hmm? Louder and strong voice. Normal dollars only. Okay. Click on the results. Then we can observe here. What is this? It is a normal dollar only. It is behaving. It is behaving like a normal dollars. Now I want this to behave like a really grand total. Then what I need to do? We have to go to RPD. Then whatever we have this grand total, we have to map to which level? Product which level? Grand total level we have to map it. Next, okay. Next, go and try to check in changes. SR now. Then go to the front end. Reload server metadata, then it behaves like a. It behaves like what? Grand total. Now, market share already we have it, right? That one I can go and I can take it, then we are able to cut it. This is one of the example. It's a LVM 3. Third example. This is 8 percentage, this is 8 percentage, like that. We got different things. Next question. Let us go for our next question. New analysis supplier sales representative. This one you have to answer your own region. I am taking district. I am taking a dollars. I am trying to save it as LVM4. Now I am trying to click on your results. Even I am exporting this one into the Excel for best clarity purpose. Let me open this. Now, what I want is your calculation. What I want your calculation is district, district market share within region. District market share within region I want it. Tell me what is the calculation you are going to write here is equal to uh, this by sum of from where to where year to year or total only that reason right only that reason means from the C4 to C8 correct now I am trying to close that into 100 then we got here 6 percentage. Now similarly, can you tell me this row equal to uh, this by sum of from where to where C9 to C12, right? So into 100, then we got this 25. Okay, now we have here in denominator, in denominator, what we are trying to put it? In denominator, what you are trying to put it? Some we are putting. Sum of what level? Reason level, some we are putting it. It's not the grand total, it is a subtotal, I can say. At what level it is? Reason level total. Reason level total. Previously, it is what? Grand total. That is the difference. Now, in the denominator, I want to put it. Can I map the same grand total? to reason level can I map this one to the reason level then it behaves like a reason level grand total or not however whatever we are about to develop the report it will work fine but whatever already existing report LBM one is available right that is the report is there right what about the life of that one if I change like this if you click on OK, if you click on OK, if you click on check in changes, then if you go and try to observe your first report, whatever we have here, LBM1, LBM1 report, catalog. We are going for catalog. Then LBM1 report is available, right? Let us go and try to see the descending order. LBM1 report. You can observe. I think we didn't do 
reload. I reloaded, then go for catalog, then LBM1 open. Hmm? Sorry? Yeah, now, okay, it's, it's came now. See here. It is behaving like a what it is behaving. Grand total or it is a reason level total, it is behaving. Because you map it to what? Reason level you mapped it. That means existing report is impacted or not. So, that purpose is grand total calculation. This purpose is reason level calculation. Don't mix these two things. Exactly, exactly. Create one more column and map that to the reason level that you have to use in further reports. That is the correct answer. Excellent. Now, let me revert it whatever mistake I did it. We realized we should not disturb the, this one. If you disturb it, existing reports are disturbing. So, it, now in order to get my requirement, I have to duplicate what? Same dollars column and I am trying to rename this one as region level total i renamed like that and it is really reason level total it has to behave means what i have to map here i have to map the reason level so click on here okay this one reason level total we are going to get it once we have the normal dollars and once we have the reason level totals can you calculate now district wise market share these two division only right yes now i am trying to right click on this one let us say new object logical column district market share within region now column source derived from existing edit expression now we want to take care what is this we have to take care dollars column we have to take it then by what do you have to take reason level total we take a reason level total into 100 then okay then okay now we got here district market share within region this district market share within region and Reason level total, both are new, right? Let me drag and drop into derived columns. Let me check in changes. Click on SR now. Let me go to the front end. Then this one I rever reverted, right? If I click on the refresh, I think I need to do reload and refresh. So let me go for new analysis, supplier sales representative, then reload server man data. Where is our report? LBM4, right? That's what we have been working. Let me click on here, edit. Let me drag and drop the columns called as region level total. Now observe the region level total, how it is came for this region, whatever total is available, that's what we got it, right? Now district market share also I can drag and drop here. Now we got, what is the number we got here? Six. The 6 is the one what we got here also, right? And what is this number we got here? 25. 25 is the number what we got here. So, your Excel calculations and your uh, report calculations matching or not? Match. So, this is how, how we are going to calculate it. So, this is the LBM4. Now, similarly, we have here some other exercise we have it. What is the next exercise? Calculating item type share within subtype share within item type. Is it similar to above one or not? Similar to above one, right? Previous what we did? Right. Now, if I want to do this one, what I have to do then? Yeah, tell me what I need to do. Start. Can I map this reason level total to calculate 
to calculate products item level total can I map like that can I map like that previously I mapped it like that only right grand total case I mapped it but here now can I map it let us assume we can map it let us assume we map it once we mapped it let us go and try to see how the report is behaving let us say I'm, I mapped it then I'm clicking on ok then I am trying to check in changes click on S then close then go to the reporting end then reload server metadata then I am trying to refresh here still it reloading I am clearing all the caches. This cache is not there. Right, see this one. Suppose I take a region and item type, both I take. Now, what is this going to do? It is calculating, it is calculating at what level it is calculating? It is calculating what level? Still, type level only it is calculating or not? Are you getting my point? But if you take here, but if you take here grand total one grand total is not disturbed it is coming properly it is coming whatever your goal is available that goal only it is coming yeah the problem is you observe it here system is system is in confused way it said here the same column you mapped with what reason level you mapped and product type level also you mapped it is it is it whatever we have the money in the central whatever we have in the money in the central that one is not equal to backing money yes or no is it same no the system is not understanding what to do so it is behaving like a whatever we like it that means within the central in the backing total how much is available that's all it is giving it Within the central backing, how much is available? That's why it is giving it. Now tell me one point here. Is it really what our purpose? What is my purpose here? System is not understanding. I have to calculate region level totals. I have to calculate or item type level totals. I have to calculate. System is not understanding that one. Item level totals also is not calculating. Item level totals means what? Backing of central as well as east as well as west, right? Backing of central as well as 
east as well as west but is it calculating like that no so it's not able to give either either item type is total it is not able to give it and reason level total also is not able to give it because this reason level total item type level total values are not same you map it wrongly you designed wrongly in case of grand total it is worked fine why because time wise you calculate the grand total or customer wise you calculate the grand total or product wise you calculate the grand total always number is what same so only one measure is available which can be mapped with multiple levels that is grand total in the level wise measure only we have one measure that can be mapped with multiple levels that is what level what is column grand total column only for grand total that kind of freedom we have it remaining all columns case for each sub total you have to create separate column you have to create it you want reason level total we have to create duplicate and you have to map to the reason level you want item type level total you have to duplicate and you have to map to the item type level but in case of grand total level we can use the same column for multiple hierarchies because grand total with respect to any hierarchy is same that point you have to catch is it clear that one right if it is clear my job is done then i can say now whatever i did the configuration here it is wrong whatever i did the configuration is here wrong i am deleting this one this column whatever i gave the reason level total that is purpose is reason level total only i should not use for product type level total if i want now product type level total i have to what duplicate this one i have to rename as what product level total i have to rename it product type level total this one has to behave like that means i have to map to what product type level i have to map it now once you have this column and dollars column you can calculate now sub type level you can calculate or not share now right click new object logical column product sub type share within type within product type then column source then derived then edit then i am trying to drag and drop here dollars by what is that product type level total into 100 then okay then okay now we got here these two columns we got it these two things i am trying to drag and drop here then we got it check in changes click on s or no then close let me go for report here reload server metadata now unnecessary columns whatever i created here those things i am deleting it this one i don't want it this one also i don't want it this one also i don't want it now click on the results now if you go for the fact sales derived columns product type level total now you can see 5175041 for backing we got it for backing we got it up to backing this is what the amount right and the beef how much i got 4908216 if i want to know now product sub type level totals you can go and you can select here there you can see are you seeing the number here you can go and collapse this window Still, we are not seeing the number. What is this? One thirteen, like that. We got it. So, this by <laughs> this. by one we got it hmm is it doing correct 
okay rounded value it is giving right okay that's fine one and overall it this uh, up to here if we go and try to sum it we should get here 100 100 percentage we should get it did you get the 100 percentage here what is this excel What is the sum here? 100 percentage we got it. So it is working or not? It is working. So that's what what you have to do in this uh, point. Now we understand now calculating item subtype share within item type. This one you can do your own or not? Calculating quarter share within year. Can we map a major column with multiple levels of hierarchy? Can we map a major column with multiple levels of a hierarchy? Question is clear or not? If we go to the RPD, let us observe it. Let us say I am trying to double click on in one column. Can I map this one here? Is it allowing me to map the two levels here? This is the one column in this one hierarchy. Can I map to the two levels? Within the same hierarchy, sir, I am going to say, I mean to say, grand total level, I want to select it. I want to select the region level also. Is it possible? Grand total level and region level is it possible or region level district level is it possible only one level right that means what one major within one hierarchy we can map to what one level even yesterday we are aware of this point one column we can map to how many levels only one level that's not the same point okay next point develop a report with columns region okay let me develop it i am trying to develop here the analysis Supplier sales representative. Then I am trying to take here column called as region. Second column is what I am asking. Dollars. Third column what I am asking. Grand total. So what is this dollars and what is this grand total? Do you have any difference? Dollars is what? Measure what it is. What is dollars? What is grand total? Dollars is a normal measure. What about the grand total? Level based measure. Level based measure. Now my question is, if I click on your result, okay, I am trying to click on results, I clicked on the result. If I click on the central, what is the life of dollars? What is the life of grand total? dollars is going to split according to the districts whereas grand total is what will not change grand total is what will not change that's what what i mean to tell in this point if you click on central region then dollars measure will split district wise whereas grand total will not split because it is a level based measure level based measure always think about what level they mapped in the BMM layer? In that level only SQL query will be created. It won't, it won't uh, take care. It won't take care what columns you are taking here. You take here customer column, or you take here sales rep column, or you take here district column. Doesn't matter for me. Dollars is splitting according to the columns what you are taking here. But grand total will not be. Splitting grand total always listens what in the BMM layer what level you mapped it That level only is going to display it Am I clear that's what the level based measure with this I completed one level of the training I completed With this I completed one level of the training tomorrow. I mean to say Monday. We are going to cover what? Learner level we try to start it Practitioner level total talks about RPD. Totally talks about what? RPD. Learner level total talks about again RPD. Again, sorry, sorry, sorry. Reports. Reports, dashboard, scheduling. Next third level, specialist level talks about again RPD. And fourth level is combination of these two levels, these two things. Report as well as RPD, like that I designed it. By seeing the meaning of learner level, practice level is easy or learner level is easy? What is English meaning, sir? Learner level is first or practice level is first? 
Huh? Learner level is the first, then practice level. What we are doing in reverse. Practice level we did first, then we are going for what? Learner level. However, for OBW, this is how it will be setting. Meaning, if I want to develop the report, means what should be there? Backend, RPD should be there. If directly I develop the reports, or you take the subject area, backend RPD is there, means you will tell what is RPD. Right? That is the reason. First, we went for what? Even though it's a bit difficult, we went for the first practitioner level. First, we developed RPD only, we developed it. Okay, generally in the project also, if I have two members, one guy is a bit senior, one guy is a bit junior, junior guys will be working on the reports and dashboards. Senior guys will be working on the RPD side. Are you getting my point? Okay. Thank you then. We'll meet on Monday. Okay. Happy weekend. Bye-bye.